Hi guys, it's Sienna Online, and this time we're reviewing a game by the name of Windward, developed by Tasheron Entertainment. So, what is Windward? It's an open world sailing RPG where you're tasked with taking over the entirety of a generated map. As you start the game, you start in either one of four corners Consulate, which is green, Exchange, which is yellow, Sorjon, which is blue, or Valiant, which is red. Each of these has their own starting benefits, such as gaining more experience for discovery, whilst others may gain more experience for getting involved in combat. Choosing who you start as will also let you benefit your playstyle. As you enter the game, you are welcomed in your starting town. Generally, in the middle sector is where you start. To get started, you can either left click and move the mouse to sail, or use WASD to control your ship. Hitting the space bar brings your ship to a halt and drops the anchor. Whilst you're sailing, a wind icon will appear directly at the middle bottom of your screen. Staying in the wind speeds up your travel, though if the wind is not in your favour, you can still sail along and have no care in the world. So your aim in the game is to take over the map generated, and to do so you'll have to take over towns. Taking over towns is easy as just sailing over to them and waiting in the circle just outside of the town, essentially like a capture the flag system. When the dial fills up, the town is then yours. Now of course this does take a fair amount of time at first, so upgrading your ship and your crew will be of high importance to ensure that you can dominate enemies quickly. Looting enemies and collecting floating cargo gives you resources. These can be sold or traded with towns to upgrade your ship and your crew. Though to increase your money you can trade with towns. Each town will have a set need for something whilst others will have a high supply of it. If you stay attuned to this you can trade let's say wheat from a town that is oversupplied with it to a town that has minimal so therefore you'll be getting more profit in that when you do your trading. You can actually make quite a bit of money doing this, allowing you to start upgrading your ship further. Each town you arrive at will have quests available for you to carry out, which in return will provide you with items, experience and cash. These can vary from ferrying civilians between towns, hunting down pirates causing trouble and so on. The main problem with quests is that they're very similar and you start to feel as if you're repeating the same quest over and over again as you aim to take over the entirety of the map. You can upgrade your ship further with upgrade points. These points are used to increase fire and accuracy of your cannons, or to increase sailor experience so that the ship can be steered more efficiently. It's a nice touch to be able to further increase the efficiency of your ship, not just the attack and the defence stats. Though that's about it really gameplay wise. You're able to place down forts and lighthouses which when down will add more NPC ships into the map, aiding you for takeovering other towns as well as protecting them. The game is very simplistic and easy to get into, with little helpful hints on what to do as you start the game though a nice blend of leaving you to learn and not holding your hand. The multiplayer mode is identical to that of the single player, except your friends are able to join in, adding more ships to aid in the conquering of the areas. You can set up your map so that your mates can jump in and out of the game at their leisure, and you can continue without them if you so desire. Windward's soundtrack is pleasant and is enjoyable to listen to as you sail along the seven seas. Accompanied by beautiful graphics, especially the sea which looks stunning, the game is a nice relaxing experience all around. It's that time now, so let's look at the positives and negatives of Wynwood. Positives, easy to pick up and play, excellent graphic style. Negatives, a bit too simplistic and quests feel repetitive. Wynwood is a really nice looking open world game that stays on the side of simplicity to create an extremely satisfying experience. Whilst the gameplay does feel slightly simplistic, it does allow for players to easily dive into the game and understand it. Whilst the game also feels repetitive, it manages to feel fresh and satisfying as you take over segments of the map. Mix this with an awesome graphical style and a calming soundtrack, the game is an all round fun experience. For these reasons, Windward gets a CNN score of 3 out of 5. Thanks for watching guys, feel free to leave comments down below and make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video, this is CNN Online signing off.